Hello everybody, so I have decided to make a video on how to draw the diagram for an image formation by thick plane mirror. Ideally you should all draw this diagram with pencil but still I am accepting this as a challenge and without using or without using the eraser and making uh, any mistakes I would be trying to draw as good as possible. So let me start the timer and the timer has started now let's draw a thick plane mirror first so the thick plane mirror should be approximately 2.5 centimeters thick like this one now you should be drawing another line parallel to this part now there we go this is almost a glass slab ready now I will be drawing the silvered part or the painted part of the thick mirror. Now draw a straight line but perpendicular to the mirror it should be a dotted line. Right? Now I am going to first place the image approximately 2 centimeters from this surface. So this is my first image I1 and again from here you can take 2.5 centimeters too. So this is 2.5 centimeters. This is the second image I2. Again 2.5 centimeters here I have another image I3. Correct. Now keep the scale in this way. You should be careful that this angle should not exceed more than 40 degrees so just randomly I have kept the scale like this and then dotted line like this still here and then a straight line a rigid line now again dotted line like this I should be careful that another line should be exactly parallel to this line okay so I would be doing it like this orienting the scale such that this is parallel till here dotted line now the rigid line this looks almost the fine now I will be marking these points again the third line like this and again the hard line now, since I know these points, I should be finding their midpoints. So this is approximately the midpoint would be somewhere over here. The midpoint could be somewhere over here. Then arranging the scale like this and making a dot exactly below this point and exactly below the midpoint over here join these two such that it should look perfect V like this one like this like this almost a perfect V right now you should be drawing a normal again a normal to the surface again a normal to the surface now I have not drawn the object first you could have noticed now the distance from this top surface till the first image was about 4.5 centimeters so from here I'll just tilt the scale upwards and 4.5 centimeters upwards from the first surface I'll mark a dot like this now this is the position of my object and then I'm going to join these two again these two appears to be almost the same angle and now everything is fitting fine okay now I will draw one more eye over here that is the observer I should mark the refracted rays reflected rays again this this and like this the timer is about 4 minutes and 14 seconds and we did it now you have to take care about one thing that this triangle and this triangle should be appearing almost congruent Okay. Now if I consider this light ray to be having 100 joules of energy, very rough figure I am taking, then about 
four percent gets partially reflected so about four joules of energy goes over here and about 96 joules of energy goes into the refraction again from here what happens is there is no possibility for the light to escape out because this is silver part so this is again 96 joules out of that about 93 joules goes out and about 3 joules goes into the partial reflection part again 3 joules gets completely reflected and about 0 say, point, say for example 2.8 joules comes out it's it's a ratio of about 96 percent goes inside for air glass interface and about 4 uh, percent gets reflected from the surface this process of reflection will keep on happening so again this is going to happen like this and now finally when you extend these all rays backwards which are coming to our eye we get the multiple images all these multiple images are formed on this particular line and we notice that this image is the brightest and why it is like that because this ray let me call this as ray number one two and three this ray number two carries the maximum energy and why it is like that because about 96 percent of the light energy gets refracted and four percent of the light energy gets reflected okay and that turns out that the second light ray has maximum energy so our brain and eyes they do not understand refraction they just presume that this light ray is coming from somewhere over here actually our brain doesn't understand that this light ray is coming from here due to the effect of due to the refraction we will just project this backwards and our eye will feel that the image is somewhere over here so we get multiple images but the second one would be the brightest